us? Can everybody hear us? All cool. All right, guys. Well, yeah, we've got a full house here today, guys. So mm -hmm. let's uh, put hands up. I've got uh, Emirates Lions defense coach uh, Jacques Ferry and Inko van Veik. Uh, we can ask questions in English and in Afrikaans. You're more than welcome. I'm recording the session as well. So uh, let's kick off. <coughs> Who's going first? Morgs, let's go. Thanks, Tim. Uh, hi, Coach. Hi, Inko. Um, uh, I hope it's going well there. Um, uh, coach, I'll, I'll just start with you. Um, you guys had a, a fantastic uh, few weeks now up in Europe. You've come back to South Africa, but uh, there were obviously still a few areas that you guys probably won't be happy with. You missed a lot of tackles against Edinburgh. I think it was some places that were sitting at 30, uh, 30 plus. Um, and that's going to become very important, uh, obviously, this weekend as well. How do you go rectifying those first time tackle situations and making sure that the guys stick there? Um, yeah, Morgi, thank you so much. Yeah, we had a, a good tour. Um, the guys really came came together the last last two games, and um, we had two two good performances. Um, in the missed tackles, we had a, only have like two or three players that missed most of those tackles. So that's individual errors you need to fix, and it's not system errors. So, but the nice thing is the guys are working for each other. When someone misses a tackle, someone else fixes it. So that's for me, it's it's, it's character of a team, and that for me, this should just shows that the guys are. Or playing for each other. Thanks, Morgs. Ross? How's it, guys? How's it, Jock? Um, must be good to have a guy like uh, Willem Alberts back. Uh, a lot of experience there for a big game against Ulster. Um, so, you guys looking forward to having him back in the mix and uh, Ed will obviously returning after that knock against Cardiff as he uh, fresh and ready. Yeah, um, hi Ross. Um, Edwell is fresh and ready and, and roaring to go. Um, he is a, he's quite a, a vital part of our attack and defence. Um, and then it's good to have, have Vic back. He's been out of the game for, for quite a while now. So it's always good to have that experience in your team, especially with the, with the young guys around you to calm them down. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing how Vic is, Vic is going to go over the weekend. Thanks, Ross. Heinz? Um, hi, guys. Um, Jock, just to follow up on that, I mean, I know obviously, you know, mixing experience with youth is quite important, you know, but I suppose just given how well your youngsters have performed over the past few weeks, you know, it's probably actually a good thing for Willem as well. You know, it keeps him on his toes, actually. The seniors, in fact, as a as a whole, you know, having these guys, you know, you know, you know, basically asking them to, to take further responsibility. Um, yeah, so I, that that's true. I think we also, at that stage, uh, you know, we're on the second year, so we're all about performance. So um, if you don't perform, the next guy will step up to the plate and he gets a chance. So and all the young guys that that got their chance step up to the plate and they made it made it work for them. So um, gone are the days that we're just going to stick with someone that's not doing his work. So you either do your work or or we get the next guy to do it for you. Morgan, another one? Yeah, uh, this one's for Henko. Um, it's a two-part, if, if that's okay with you, sir. No, that's cool. Um, <clears throat> the first part is, um, I saw this week that you were selected in the URC Dream Team um, as part of the, in the 15 uh, there. Uh, it's been quite a meteoric rise, if I can put it that way. Um, and a lot of people are talking you up. Are you feeling a certain degree of pressure around that at the moment? Yeah, Morgan, no, um, I think if if you feel pressure from outside, um, I think things is going to your head. Um, so no, I, I I just want to perform every game, give the best for the team. And uh, yeah, I don't feel pressure, um, pressured by the media or anything. And then this, my second question uh, is related, is a bit of, uh, from the left field off topic. It's about uh, Sasha, uh, Sasha there's, uh, in, at the Stormers. There's talk of him moving to the Stormers. It's a big, been a big talking point this weekend. As a young South African rugby player, is that a thought that goes into your head, maybe going to play for another nation, or is it your dream to play for the Springboks? Um, no, obviously it's a dream for me to become a Springbok. Um, I'm going to give it a crack. Um, I'm going to give it my all. It's a dream since since uh, I started to play rugby. So 
Um, yeah, I, I can't make a decision or <laughs> let myself out now about the future. I don't know what the future holds. So, yeah. Thanks, Morgan. Ross? How's it again, uh, Henko? Um, obviously, last season you played a few games for the Lions. You got a taste of the URC, but this season you seem to have solidified a spot there in the midfield along with Marius Lowe. Um, how are you enjoying your partnership with him? Um, and has he added quite a bit to the midfield there since joining from the Sharks? And, uh, you know, looking towards the end of year tour, there's obviously, as uh, Morgan just mentioned, there's a lot of uh, talk about youngsters being picked for that end of year tour. Uh, are you thinking about a possible pick there for the SAA's team, or is that something not really that you're thinking about? And is your focus just on the Lions at the moment? Um, so, yeah, um, thanks, Ross. Um, Marius is a quality player. Um, I, I enjoy, enjoy playing with him. Um, I learn a lot from him. He, he leads by example. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can just build on our, where we are now. And then the SAA team, um, yeah, I'm not thinking about anything about that now. Um, I'm at the Lions now. I'm just going to give my best at every, every game I get a chance and uh, yeah, just to serve the team. Okay, come on with Morgan Pick and then Heinz. Thanks, Anissa. Jock, um, obviously you guys did a hell of a lot of hard work overseas to get those wins and come back, but has there been any emphasis on, emphasis on the fact that the real hard work actually starts now for you guys to carry on with that momentum that you started building? Yes, Morgan. Um, like we said, we came back on Monday. You know, um, yes, we had a good tour, but we haven't achieved anything yet. Um, you know, the competition isn't won in the first four games. So we basically focusing on the next three games that we we've got home. Um, we want to we want to start well now at home against also against Glasgow, and the last one against the Stormers. So it's was vital to you know to to do well at home and and to get a, a few wins here as well. Thanks. Um, Enke, vraag for you. Um, dat wordt baie gepraat oor die aanvallende vermoens en ons het het gesien, jy weet, met die, met die breekslag van jou um, tegen Edinburgh self en dinge, maar jy, um, jy het nogal ook gewys dat jy het nogal daarvan hou om um, een bykie een leidende rol als een organiseerder op die verdediging te neem, jy weet, is dit nogal iets waarop jy jou pride en wat jy jouself op back en Jack, as ek jou nie kan vraag vir jou en sê te daarmee, jy weet, daar word baie gepraat van Henko en sy aanvallende vermoens, maar hy is bezig om homself as een rechte generaal ook eigenlijk daar so in jou achterlijn verdediging te vestig. Ah, um, ja, nie, dankie. Um, ek, ek dink derde is, is baie belangrijk vir verdediging, uh, vooral met die organisering. So ja, ek, 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 dit is het ding waarom ek myself uh, praat en is, is my verdediging. Ek dink, uh, dit is, dit Dit gaan maar weer hard, meestal, meeste van die tijd. En uh, ja, dit, uh, 13 is een vital ding en uh, nie sê die defense groei langs my. So, <laughs> yeah. Ja, ek dink, um, ek dink wat, wat ons al hard gewerk met Henko um, is, is, sy, is, is die verdediging. En my is nog altijd een goeie verdediging en ek weet, en nie net dit nie, hy is een goeie attacker ook. So vir my het hy gewaas, even teen kade wat die vleel toegeskyf het, is een all-round player. So, so he, he's just, a, hy is net een all-round um, rugby speler. So, Ons moet nou net aan werk en die ouwens om om kry om om, om saam met hom te werk. Ok, ons so wat vir Brendan en dan we gaan close it off guys with one more question after Brendan please. Uh, morning guys, afternoon guys. Uh, Jacques, just for you perhaps, uh, on Ulster, um, they're a team that obviously have scored the most tries in the competition already, so they've shown the attacking ability, but they like to use their mall. I think they've got on the stats the highest amount of malls won and uh, so they're going to use that quite a bit. How do you approach that going into this weekend? Yeah, Brendan, I think, um, like you say, Ulster is probably one of the top two teams on a competition attacking-wise. Um, so they don't lack any anything on attack. So, But in saying that, they the maul, they, they maul a lot. So Coach Albert has prepped the forwards, um, you know, for the weekend and what's coming. So hopefully, you know, we can either win the ball in the air or when they come down and they maul, we can stop at that source. So... Um, it's going to be a big, big challenge for us, but one I think we we will be capable of of stopping. All right, guys, Ross has got the last one, and then we'll have to close. Sorry, sorry, I think Sorrel was in before me, and I have asked a couple. Where is he? I don't see. Yeah, okay, um, Sorrel, sorry, um, uh, Sorrel, please go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. You're back at altitude now after three weeks. 
at sea level in Europe. Is that going to be difficult for you guys tomorrow? I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's you know if it, it it's going to play a part, um, but the, the I think the thing that we've been emphasizing the whole uh, few days that we're back is that we know the feeling, what it feels like to to be at altitude. Um, we've trained at it. We know you know we can go to that place where we're tired and we can still operate. So um, I think we've got a little bit of an upper hand knowing that how it feels. Um, so we only came back now from three weeks. So I think we we probably both in the same same boat. Um, going into into this gate, into this game. Thank you, Sarul. Okay, Ross, you want to close us off now? Thanks, will do. Um, Jacques, obviously, uh, in your three-week tour overseas, um, you guys did quite a lot of defending in the games, uh, staying with uh, close to the other teams and then taking it at the end there. Uh, being back at home, and, uh, you know, particularly last season at home, you guys showed that uh, you can take the lead from the start and sort of hold it over the match. Are you going to look to sort of change it up a bit there and uh, maybe not defend as much and try put more of a stamp on the game from you guys from the start here? Yeah, for sure. I think we're going, like I say, the <laughs> the conditions we played in, in Cardiff and at, in Edinburgh was, um, I mean, you couldn't hardly kick the ball. So we knew that the defence was going to gonna win us the game. So we knew that... There was going to be some parts where you're going to have to defend for 10, 15 minutes in your own half. And because the wind was blowing, it was in the court of game, the, the rain was coming down sideways, you know. So we knew in the back of our heads that we're going to put in the hard work defensively and defense was going to win us the game. Um, I think back at these conditions that we are back in Joburg, um, you know, I think we're going to see a see a different different style that, or not a different style when to play. The ball is dry, and we, we probably can run it a lot, and the, the ball travels further when you kick it. So it's definitely going to be a different style, and hopefully we can from the start get ahead and and just build on that performance. And that's that. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. As always, we do appreciate it. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks very much. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.